This year's aerospace maintenance competition featured nearly 30 school teams testing their MRO skills, trying out new technologies, and networking with industry companies. Aviation Week spoke with student competitors to get their perspective on how the industry can improve training and workforce recruitment. It, it's, this is the cream of the crop of the Olympics of, of aviation maintenance, and that's what we've been telling everybody. Uh, so it, it, the competition edge gives everybody a desire to want to bring their best, and when you showcase people's best, then everybody wants to watch. And so it's this really nice symbiotic relationship with that. Also, I feel like events like this um, really bring a spotlight to the aviation maintenance community because, like, I feel like we're kind of not as um, recognized as some other things, and we're, like we're just as important. You can't have aviation without maintenance. Also, shows what we do and like all the precautions we take with uh, actual all the maintenance and stuff that you actually have to do on a plane. You know, it brings awareness. You know, there is a high demand for AMPs, and I just feel a competition like this spreads awareness. And, you know, it helps our industry grow as well. It's been a learning curve, but after we got through the first couple events, it started to pick up and kind of felt uh, at ease and a little bit more competitive yes, and comfortable. At first, we were a little bit nervous on edge with it being the first year, and I think that first event really helped people calm down. Some of the bigger planes were not really used to handling those, so it's kind of a shock from a 152 to a 747. We got to work actually on larger aircraft engines than we were normally used to, so uh, that's definitely something that's a benefit of coming here. Uh, it's, there's also some new technologies. It's just a lot of high-tech stuff here, a lot of money being put into the show. Uh, doing different things that you don't do in the classroom every day, uh, getting different experiences that you can always take back to the classroom and uh, share with all your other classmates. Events like this are important to introduce the new technologies that we're going to be working with in uh, our careers as aviation maintenance technicians because there's a lot of new cutting edge technologies even in uh, our events that we are doing. Um, down there for the competition. Um, experiencing new technology um, and being able to kind of get hands on with what maybe in a couple years we'll be using in the industry. Um, it's just a really great opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of equipment here that you know we don't have any experience with just because we don't have access to that kind of a resource. And it'd be great if that could be brought into the school and schools in general and that would help bring technology. So right now schools I think kind of follow behind industry. It would be great if schools could get a little bit ahead of the industry so that way when mechanics are coming off we're ready to go right there with what's current. We come from a small town with little to no funding and so it was really hard for us to get our hands on anything. We didn't have any specific trainers but in terms of training equipment there were, there were many events where we had never seen the equipment before at all and so all you have to do is rely on your professionalism, read the instructions, and do what you're supposed to do. I'd say that's the hardest thing about being in school is always having to buy something new because there's always something new coming out. So it's pretty hard for them, I think, to keep up sometimes. The yeah, ability to get exposure to things that I knew that we hadn't done yet. Um, I wanted to see, you know, what the technology out there was in the field. And I also want an opportunity to be able to uh, talk to prospective employers and uh, just other people in the industry. Yeah, basically every single uh, aircraft uh, manufacturer, whether it be a uh, small time or large time company, they're, they're pretty much all here at this uh, convention right now, and especially all the major airliners, they're, they're looking for people left and right, so it's almost like we can't get away from them. We have people coming up to us with iPads, asking us to sign up and start tomorrow. Lots of companies that are part of the competition that are sponsoring different events have come up and talked to a lot of us, especially those that are closer to being finished. Offered us interviews and jobs. It's been really cool and really neat experience. You know, like what we've heard here is that uh, you know we're the future. All the the uh, old guard of the uh, aviation mechanics is beginning to retire, and so there's going to be a huge need for us. And um, just more more exposure, more information. I think a good idea would be to go after the people that are, you know, car mechanics and stuff yes. like that. Because there's, a, there's that. a whole, you know, different industry out there of people that are have very technical backgrounds and know what they're doing, but aren't applying it to, you know, the aviation industry. And companies could go after them and colleges as well to try and, you know, build build their program, build their uh, business up. I think a lot more can be done to try to get younger people involved in tech technicians aspect of aviation because first of all 
pilots are paid a lot more than technicians are. I mean, a lot of students coming out though have a lot of debt. I mean, it's nice to see that initial pay starting out. Um, and de then definitely like introduction to higher things. It's just for me at least, it's nice to see that it's always growing and expanding and you can grow in a company and expand and do a bunch of different stuff. So. I think the biggest thing that would really affect, um, you know, bringing students into, you know, working for companies is internships. But there's a lot of airlines, there's a lot of manufacturers and even MROs that are not offering internships. And yeah. they're just expecting us to find them once we're walking yeah. off the graduation floor. So that doesn't really work as well. If they reached out ahead of time, offered us an opportunity to work with them, um, that would really help out. That would really bring in a lot more technicians. Just show them how fun it is. Like I, I think people, um, they just see it as a job. They don't really see it as like entertaining. Because I don't know, I, I like working on things. I like tearing things apart, seeing how they work, putting back together. Like to me, that's fun. So if they could just show like younger kids like how fun and like all the opportunities that it presents as well. I think it would bring in a lot more people. So.